monster trucks, unbridled power, the ferocious roar of their engines, and the legend of Dan Rundy and Bigfoot, who's dominated the sport for over a decade. Tonight, Seven will challenge Team Bigfoot for the title, Monster Truck of the Millennium. And now, for the first time, you got a backstage pass for the stories behind the machine. So get set. Monster Trucks 2000. The new millennium, next on UPN. The fireworks are just getting started. Jerry Romano, along with Rick Rooney, here at Mesa Park in Bellsmere, Florida, to say the premier side-by-side -side monster truck event. However, before we get going tonight, we arrived earlier at the park today, and we found some startling, even shocking news. Right. This event was big enough and anticipated enough. It didn't need any extra twist, but that's what we got. Let's go down to half of the pits for an update on the story. Hey, thanks a lot, guys. Earlier today, the legendary monster truck Bigfoot was vandalized. Now, apparently, there's a videotape of the incident on the way to the park right now, but there's no sign of Bigfoot, and there's no sign of Dan Runty. One thing we do know is that the races will continue. Back to you guys. Half that is absolutely shocking news. Now, keep in mind, and as you know, Jerry, most of the drivers run two trucks. But a few weeks back, Runny and his Bigfoot team had one go down hard at an appearance in Little Rock, Arkansas, and they have been without that backup truck ever since. Right, and Bigfoot is currently scheduled to go in the fourth team in the quarterfinals. But unless a miracle develops, I don't see that happening. But we do have racing, Rooney, and lots of it. Tonight, eight trucks are set to compete in a head-to-head, -head single elimination competition on the longest monster truck course in the history of the sport. This is the first time this course has ever been challenged. The winner will earn the title Monster Truck of the Millennium. The parade of trucks is ready to roll, so let's meet the trucks and the participants. Firestone, driven by Eric Tack. Yeah, Stoney. I love this guy, Rooney. Not in the biblical sense, but I mean, he's one of the top drivers. We're going to see a lot from him tonight. And tackle base executioner. With 12-year veteran Mark Hall behind the wheel in the quarters. Part of the Hall brothers team. The only Dodge in the event. Monster Patrol is a good one. And the driver who makes it go is Dave Harkey. Yeah, Harkey's parents are here to watch him race for the very first time, and his dad, Willie, was a one-time midget racer. In the quarters, the patrol faces Boogie Van, driven by Pam Vale, the top woman in the game. Yeah, she's managed by Ma Vale, an unusual chassis on this machine, but it goes. Dr. Bones is a mean machine, and Rick Petroline gets the ride. Yeah, the Dr. Bones chassis, one of the more popular fiberglass rides on this circuit. He'll be matched up against Samson, driven by Dan Patrick. One of the unique things about Dan Patrick is that he builds his own trucks and builds them for other drivers as well. Good guy. Finally, let's meet Scorpion, driven by the very focused Gene Patterson. Gene, Gene, the driving machine, Rooney. The missing truck, the legendary Bigfoot, would have rounded out the field in the battle for the title, Monster Truck of the Millennium. They'll be racing on an S-track here at Mesa Park. Four turns in all, three jumps, lots of bumps, and before the night's over, some thrilling racing. Believe me, Jerry. I do believe you. And at the starting line right now is fan favorite Firestone and his arch rival, Executioner. Rooney, give us a little more lowdown on the phenom. They label the Executioner. Well, the name says it all. Mark Hall, a former Monster Truck Racing Association Sportsman of the Year, former BMX racer, 10-year veteran of Monster Trucks. They might as well call this truck the Conqueror. Executioner just sounds meaner, glitzier. Mark Hall, the Executioner. Now check out the twin cams on Firestone, Rooney. Well, that's what makes this such an intriguing matchup. Stoney's unbelievably explosive off the line with an RJS fire system and BDS blower. Its driver, Eric Tack, has been behind the wheel of monster trucks since 1992. In 94, if you can believe it, this guy rolled 11 times and walked away without a scratch. Well, Firestone is a quick starter, Executioner is a finisher. So let's get ready for our first matchup in the quarterfinals. Starter girl sends him off. Eric Tack coming around the bat on the right side here now, Executioner on the inside. Now keep in mind that Tack is one of the few drivers on the circuit who doesn't really care whether he's inside or outside. Doesn't matter to him. Excellent point, Rooney. That becomes from all those years of experience, although Hall has 12 years himself. Here they come down on the outside, Ben. This is wrap two. 
They'll come around and jump here in a second. And now, Mark Hall, a little too high. You don't like to go that high. Execution are the only dodge out there tonight. They're coming down the home stretch. Jerry, take us there. All right, Eric Tech on the inside and Firestone. Mark Hall, the execution on the outside. This is the final jump across the finish line. And Firestone in a walk, Rooney. Didn't even seem like he was on the throttle all night long on that first run, and he did an excellent job. First off, our first winner of the evening. Not really a surprise, Jerry. What was a little surprising was that it didn't look like he was pushing it at all. Now let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, he really wasn't pushing it, Rooney. I mean, I've seen this guy run for years, and I know where he's got underneath that hood, and he was just, he wasn't giving all that he had right there, and he walked away with this victory. Excellent, excellent job. Eric was obviously well prepared for this first run in the first heat. And uh, earlier today, we sent our own correspondent, Jen Goodwin, out to the pits where Eric was in heat with his girlfriend, Eye Candy. Jen Goodwin could not get a crowbar in between the two. And uh, hopefully we can catch up with him later to get some comments uh, on racing. But, uh, wow. All right, let's go down to Hef for some breaking news on the Dan Ruddy and Bigfoot crisis. Hey, thanks a lot, guys. The videotape that I was telling you about earlier is here, and apparently it's pretty disturbing. All right, thanks, Hef. We've all been busting our DVDs to get a look at this. This is Dan Runty, Dusty, and Blanche. And, oh, my God, Rooney, that does not look like Bigfoot, but that's what that is. That's well, Bigfoot. This, this is a sport that has always prided itself on fairness and embodied pure competition. I think at some point we've all heard the phrase in sports that if you don't cheat to win, you simply don't want to win badly enough. Well, I have never subscribed to that credo. I know you never have either, no. Jerry. No. You know why? Because it's utter, absolute garbage. Can you imagine? The repercussions and fallout if somebody vandalized, say, Jeff Gordon's car or Dale Jarrett's ride on the day of the Daytona 500, please. You're absolutely right. Well, you're darn right I'm right. Let me tell you something. I have been involved in this sport almost my entire life as a driver, as an owner, and now as a commentator. Across the board, start to finish. And I have to tell you, I am so thoroughly disgusted by what we have seen and what's happened overnight in the Bigfoot camp that... I'm, I'm utterly speechless about this. Well, if you're speechless, my friend, then this really is a problem. Uh, it, it upsetting. Let's go back down to half and uh, see if we got some more reaction down there. Hey, thanks, guys. Believe me, this is more than just a missing driver and a monster truck that's missing. We have some of the other drivers here to get some of their reactions. Joining me now, Eric Tack and Mark Hall. Guys, have you seen the video, and, and what are your feelings this far about the Dan Runty Bigfoot situation? No, I, I haven't seen the video, but uh, from what I understand, it's pretty bad. And uh, what about you, Eric? You know, being teammates, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to understand what's going on, and, it, you know, it, that's a tough thing to deal with. <laughs> okay, well, you heard it here from the drivers themselves. In addition to this, it's the owners also who uh, have a vested interest in this event as well. Our own Jennifer Goodwin caught up with two such owners as they arrived here earlier today. I'm here with Big Daddy Kate and Itty Bitty. Now, as owners, are you concerned about the safety of your trucks? Dr. Bonson Scorpion. Well, it's like a death in the family. We should all be concerned. Eddie and myself wasted no time getting here. We chartered a plane and got here the second we heard. Not a second to lose. The truck, it was reduced to, to a skeleton. That's why I'm here, to conduct a personal investigation. A personal investigation by Big Daddy. The defacement of Bigfoot is a personal attack on me, the sport, and all the monster truck family. A proud, well-adjusted family. Rest assured, when I am done with my official investigation, the trucks will be flying across the finish line. Vicky Boom, can we get a word with you, please? I'm not answering that. But I didn't ask you anything. Exactly. I came here to race, not to talk. Va, 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 boom, Rooney, huh? <laughs> but one question remains, where is Dan Runty? Well, that's a very good question. Where indeed, at this point, is Dan Runty? Let's check in with Hef and see if he has anything more on that. Yeah, Rooney, I'm working on it. No more information at this point. One thing that I did find out is that there has been a de decision made on how these races will proceed. Scorpion was supposed to space uh, Bigfoot in the fourth quarterfinal matchup. Scorpion will get an automatic bye to the semifinal if, in fact, Dan Runty and Bigfoot don't appear. Back to you guys. Okay, Scorpion gets a bye. Unbelievable. Scorpion All right. gets a bye. Yeah, that's unbelievable. Really unbelievable. And equally shocking is the condition of his truck. Earlier this week, our own Jen Goodwin caught up with a much more confident and relaxed Bigfoot camp. I'm here at the park with Team Bigfoot. Dan, you love racing. And Dusty, you love Dan. And, and Blanche, you are... Jen, I'm the little toe on Dan's big foot. Uh oh, Jerry, sounds like a fetish. Or the makers of a fungus. All right, we're going to take a break. But when we come back, Monster Patrol and Boogie Van square off in our second quarterfinal matchup. 
more importantly, how am I getting home? Now the fans love the big monster. He's 41,000 pounds, 38 feet tall, the actual size of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. If you're just joining us, well, where you been? You're late at this point in time. We're just a couple of minutes away now from our second quarterfinal matchup of the single elimination head-to-head -head competition. Again, the winner of tonight's event earns the title of the Monster Truck of the Millennium. The other story that's developed here is the shocking footage revealing the outright desecration of Bigfoot. Yeah, watch your backside here. Okay, this is all that remains of Bigfoot's chances winning the title Monster Truck of the Millennium. It's been a strange day, a very strange day indeed. We, need, we were excited to have this event tonight, and we we're going to have a lot more coming up. But uh, when we arrived this morning and learned of what happened, uh, I've got to be quite frankly, it was, it, was, it was stunning. It was stunning. All right, let's go to Jen Goodwin, who's been following this story from the owner's point of view. Earlier, we tried to get your reaction to today's event. Does Team Boom have a statement at this time? Miss Boom? Miss Boom? Please, Miss Boom? You know, Rooney, I like this Miss Boom style a lot. Jerry, you're a very lonely man. Rooney, I said it before, but I gotta say it again. Va, 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 va. You like her, yeah, huh? Very interesting. Anyways, Monster Patrol up next. Give us the skinny on. Well, besides having to deal with your friend, Vicky Boom, Dave Harkey started racing dirt bikes at the age of 24. Two decades later, he was one of the premier monster truck drivers. He is hugely popular with the kids everywhere he goes. Uh, and by the way, when he's not racing, he just happens to run a scrap yard for Ms. Boom. One other point, Rooney, he's undefeated since the first of the year. Dave Harkey and the Monster Patrol team will have more than its hands full with Pam Bale and the Boogie Band. Rooney, give us a little more lowdown on the Boogie Band. Well, Boogie Band's an 11 and a half foot tall Aerostar out of Hagerstown, Maryland. Pam's the only current female monster truck driver. She's accompanied by her mother, Mom Vale, wherever she goes. Mod like her to be known as the Shirley Muldowney of monster truck racing. She surely could help that goal with a win here tonight. Winners of the quarterfinals advance to the semis. They're getting ready, and they're underway. Great start. That sturdy girl got him going here. Boogie Band on the inside, Monster Patrol on the outside. Monster Patrol, one of the few trucks in the circuit that has that spoiler on the back, Rooney. Well, that's because its owner used to race sprint cars. The spoiler has no aerodynamic function. It just looks good. All right, Boogie Band way out in front of this point. Nice launch. 10,000 pounds coming crashing down there. And saw Dave Harkey. A little rocked it a little bit there, Rooney. You don't like to do that. Well, you can roll these trucks easily. Harkey did in the Astrodome in front of 60,000 people recently. That's right. It was like a day after New Year's. I remember that. And down the stretch they come. 20,000 pounds of hunka tonka. The final jump. Monster Patrol way out in front. Strong run by Harkey and the Monster Patrol. They got to really like this run, Rooney. Well, remember, this is single elimination, so Team Vale is done for the night while Monster Patrol moves on. Here it comes. This is probably where the race could have been lost by Harkey. He comes up. Watch him rock this thing, Rooney. Not a, not a smooth run, but he apparently coming in the last two turns. He really pushed it. And in the last jump, very strong. Free Willy. All right, Jerry, let's quickly go to the pits and check in with Hef. Hey, thanks a lot, guys. Joining me now, a not-so-happy Ma Vale from the Vale Racing Team. Ma, not the way you wanted to start off the night, was it? No. Okay, what happened out there? We lost. And uh, why, why do you think you lost? Well, if I knew that, we probably would have won, right? Okay. I know you're aware of the Dan Runty Bigfoot situation. Have you seen Dan Runty, Dusty, or Blanche? Me and my daughter came here to race. Now that we're done racing, we're done. <laughs> yes, we are. I think we're looking now for the driver of Monster Patrol, Dave Harkey. Here we go right here, Dave. One for one, headed to the semis. Tell us about the race. That's great. I tell you, one for one, don't get no better. Okay. And uh, what do you expect for the next one? We'll tell you more about that in the winner's circle when the night's over. <laughs> okay, Vicky Voom and Dan Harkey, all business down here. Back to you guys. Well, uh, Team Voom is certainly all business, wouldn't you say? Well, when you look like Voom, you don't have to be, though. Yeah, it, utterly obnoxious. You know, all that money you, you think would have actually bought her some manners at some point in time. All owners are hands-on somehow, Jerry. Other owners like Big Daddy and Itty Bitty have designed their driver's trucks, designed their logo, and now they've hired an artist to design their image. Rick Petroline of Dr. Bones and Gene Patterson of Scorpion posed for their portraits. Yeah, Rooney, I saw a clip of this earlier. I was floored by the arrogance of these two. I mean, this is, quite frankly, is ridiculous. After you get the face looking good, 
Dressed me like George Washington crossing the Delaware. They had some babes to the boat. Yeah, all right. And I'd be that guy uh, that you went to a fight. What was his name? Guy had his hand in his shirt. No, his name's Pants. Napoleon Bonaparte. Hey, Freakazoid, would you chill out so I can finish this? Well, uh, Dr. Bones and Scorpion certainly need to ask their owner, Big Daddy, for some history lessons. And certainly one of history's greatest heroes, Samson, is looking to become the first to capture the title, Monster Truck of the Millennium. We'll be back with our third quarterfinal matchup next. Stay with us! Bigfoot truck had been desecrated. We sent our reporters out, and all the owners came to town to begin an investigation. The races went on, even without the legend known as Bigfoot. Firestone edged executioner in the first of the night's quarterfinals. Meanwhile, Monster Patrol pushed past Boogie Van to grab the second spot on the semis. Things have certainly started to heat up. All right, up next in our third quarterfinals, Dan Patrick and Samson on the line to face Rick Petroline and Dr. Bones. Rooney, tell us what we got. Rick Petroline's a recent addition to the Big Daddy and Itty Bitty camp. In fact, the Itty Bitty goes as far as to say that Rick is the leading candidate for racing's Rookie of the Year honors. Just like his teammate Gene Patterson is the driver of Scorpion, Petroline has got a mean temperament and that same take-no-prisoners attitude. Starter girl will get Samson going in a few seconds. It was just six years ago that Samson was awarded Monster Truck of the Year. Much of the credit has got to go to driver Dan Patrick. His family's been involved in trucks for 35 years, and he was the first monster truck driver to break the five-second barrier. Hailing from Kingston, Ohio, Samson can bring the horsepower and should give the good doctor a real run for his money. All right, starter girls got him up. On the left is Samson. On the right, Dr. Bones with those big teeth. I wonder if he floss is running. And they're off. Two Fords going out of here. They come around the back. Dr. Bones with an early start. And they get ready for that first jump. Coming over that jump with 10,000 pounds of truck. It's like having sex and being in a car wreck at the same time, Rudy. Yeah, how would you know about that? I've been in a few car wrecks along the way. And they come again, second jump. Dr. Bones, good start. Those tires are like 1,800 bucks a piece, Rooney. They have to be very durable, obviously, to take this pounding. Again, I keep saying it, but 10,000 pounds, that's what these trucks weigh. Well, Samson's certainly being left in the dust right now. And remember another thing about these tires, very interesting. The factory cuts grooves in them, but the driver spent 40 hours at least cutting more grooves. Yeah, well, Samson needs a little more time doing that because Dr. Bones has just put him away. Nice run by Dr. Bones. Excellent run, actually. Third quarter final's now over, and we're starting to shape up the night, Rooney. Jerry Sampson really struggling. That's a little surprising. Yeah, very surprising. Did not have a good run. Not the Sampson we're used to seeing out here. You can see coming over the top of there, that jump. Just not, a, not on target tonight. Not a strong run. Not our typical Sampson. And you see the jump here by Dr. Bones. Way up. Good 25 feet in the air there. Very poetic like coming across that finish line. Let's go down the half now with some driver interviews. Hey, thanks a lot, guys. So nice guys don't always finish first. Joining me now, the driver of Sampson, Dan Patrick. Dan, what happened out there? Well, we were set up for clay tracks, and we got down here with nothing but sand, so uh, the setup was just all wrong, because I had my hands full just keeping the truck on the track. Had you driven out? You haven't driven on this track before. No, uh, I was ill-prepared, you know, but you know, you said uh, good guys don't always finish last, or first, but we always finish, so uh, we'll get it, uh, get it together, and the next time we'll take care of Mr. Bones. Yeah, well, you gave it your best. Thanks for, thanks for stopping by. One of the better guys in racing, Dan Patrick from Samson. Back to you guys. All right, these are the results at this point. Nothing shocking on the track. Firestone, Dr. Bones, and Monster Patrol advance. And unless Bigfoot and Dan Runty's team are on their way, Gene Patterson and Scorpion receive a bye. Remember, if he's not in position, he's gone. But, now, hold on, folks. There seems to be some sort of commotion over at the park entrance. It appears, yes, it's Big Daddy and Itty Bitty Daddy. I don't know where they're headed, but they're clearly on a mission, Rooney. Well, Big Daddy's carrying a videotape heading to the television truck, and it appears by the glare in Itty Bitty's eyes that this is breaking stuff. Hey! Play this tape. Daddy has spoken, so play the tape. Well, orders have been given here. Let's see what we got on the TV screen. People of the crime of all time. Of all time. Well, these guys are rabble rousing. Wait a minute now. This is clearly a surveillance tape, Rooney. There's the time of day and the date, and that's Bigfoot's truck. And, and, and that's Dan Runty. And a sledgehammer in his hand. Disturbing stuff. Uh, re rewind that tape. Yeah, please. Let's take a look at this again, Rooney. 
Oh, this is Exhibit A. Big Daddy and Itty Bitty are producing some damaging, damaging evidence. And obviously, after Ruddy took out the surveillance camera, he took out Bigfoot, too. Keep the news in your pocket there, Double R, because uh, Runty's not on trial just yet. Oh, yeah, yet. well, I'll tell you what, you can count on my vote, and that's going to be G-U-I-L-T-Y, guilty. All right, well, now I'll ask the question for everybody here tonight, and all of us. Why would the number one monster truck driver do this? Why would he throw it all away? Exhibit B. Exhibit B. Dig this. A multi-million dollar insurance policy taken out by Dan Runty, stating specifically, in case of destruction or desecration of said Bigfoot, one Dan Runty would personally receive the sum of one million dollars immediately as sole beneficiary. Bottom line, if the man can't race, he gets a million. That's a one followed by six zeros. That's a pile of scratch. Well, it's absolutely unbelievable. It's amazing is what it is. And let me tell you something. I'm ready to take that felon and hang him right over here from that widescreen TV. This is so outrageous. Ladies and gentlemen, we came for an evening of racing tonight. And what, unfortunately, we may be about to see is Armageddon in this sport, the sport that I love. I'm sad, and beyond that, I'm furious. Wow. Well, now it's a $1 million question, Rooney. Where's Dan Runty? Oh, yeah? What question is that? This guy is undoubtedly shoveling on table dances somewhere in Switzerland or Brazil. Well, whether or not you get questions and answers, who knows? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Holy Mac of Re Resurrection. I don't believe my eyes. It's Bigfoot. Prime, shine, and ready for action. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Rooney. I, I can't believe what's going on right now. This place is coming apart. This place is going to... It's like watching the Titanic rise from its watery grave. I don't know where that truck came from, but holy cow. Dan Runty's back, and he's with our own John Heffernan in the pits. Heff? Dan Runty, what do you have to say for yourself? Two sisters, two trucks, let's go race. I don't know what that means, but the man is here. Dusty? Hey, I don't care what they saw on that videotape. That was not Dan destroying those trucks. I've been with Dan the past few days, and that was not Dan. Let's go race! Come yeah. on! Okay, well, you hear it. Dan Runty is here, and we are set for our last quarterfinal set. It should be great. Back to you guys. Oh, unbelievable. Thanks, Jeff. All right, coming up, when we come back, Scorpion and Bigfoot in our last quarterfinal. Rework the graphic, boys, and we're going to buckle up. Because it's good versus evil. Scorpion versus Bigfoot. The accused versus the accuser. Stay with us. Monster Truck 2000. Ah! tuning in. The great truck Bigfoot has been desecrated. But that hasn't stopped three trucks from advancing to the semifinals. Big Daddy showed the capacity crowd a videotape fingering Bigfoot driver Dan Rundy with a heinous crime. All to collect on an insurance policy. Man can't race. He gets a million. That's a one followed by six zeros. But Rundy appeared dramatically and Bigfoot is set to run. Along with Jerry Romano, I'm Rick Rooney. Welcome back to what's been a tremendous night so far. However, we are at the biggest part of the evening, a showdown in the quarterfinals, a matchup we thought we would not see has become an instant grudge match. Big Daddy Scorpion Truck versus a resurrected and accused Team Bigfoot. Who would have ever thought that the Monster Truck of the Millennium title event would have had so many twists and turns as we've seen so far? You've got to love it. And here's one more for you. Now, we have looked at that videotape again, and we are not so certain that Big Daddy's allegations that Runty messed with his own truck are true. Let's take a look at this videotape, and here we are. What do you think about yeah, well, this? Yeah, well, your slow-mo helps a little bit. I mean, like, uh, first of all, I think we all know Dan Runty, and when he'll see him come in. I mean, neither one of these people look exactly like his size. I mean, the, I mean... I, I agree with you. Yeah, I can't tell I, I agree with you, and, and I would and think at this point that this is yeah. certainly a job for a forensics team. Yeah, well, you know, I gotta be honest with you, I am starting to smell a rat. In the meantime, we got some racing. We All got right. some racing. And we had a big race. Let's get this big race going. And when you say big race, what you do is you almost always follow that with the term big foot. Mm -hmm. This Ford C6, with its 572 C6 Ford engine, gets it going with a TCI converter, Hurst shifter. It, too, is juiced on methanol jazz fuel, and that's the reason why he's a legend. He is a legend, Rooney, and of course he'll be squaring off with Scorpion and Gene Patterson. Give us the lowdown on Scorpion. 
10 feet by 11 feet and nearly 11,000 pounds of pure power. This 572 Ford's like rap music in motion. Should be a good one. You got that right, Rooney. Here's a match made in truck heaven. The accuser versus the accused. And this is our last quarterfinal matchup, a race we didn't even think we were going to see. Let's go on a half. Half, what do you got for us? Hey, thanks, guys. I'm here with Dusty and Blanche. Dusty, straight up. Blanche, straight up. Where did this truck come from? Preparation. Years of being a champion. The question isn't where it came from. The answer is where it's going. And that's right across the finish line! Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Well, for the last 11 years, Dan Runney's been flying across the finish line first. And let me tell you about the Dan Runney I've always known. A perennial champion in this sport. Off the course, he's always been a gentleman. Always willing to help the other drivers. Overall, the heart of a champion. This is purgatory. Between heaven and hell is what the race is about. But I'm going to withhold judgment on these allegations until proof is shown. Now, he'll be racing against Scorpion this evening and its driver, Gene Patterson. Patterson's got that evil look in his eye. This is a man full of arrogance, and all that gives him a big advantage in this sport. Yeah, and keep in mind, folks, Big Daddy and Itty Bitty Daddy do not associate themselves with losers. Some rough, shady characters, maybe, but definitely not losers. And if you don't like Scorpion, you do have to respect him. That is a definite. Okay, here we go. Fourth quarter final matchup. Bigfoot on the left, Scorpion on the right. Jerry, take it away. This is what racing's all about. Who needs Viagra Rooney? Let's get it on. Good start by both drivers coming out of the gate. Scorpion lead on taking that first bend. Come on the first jump. Steve McGarrett, ride the wave, baby. Hawaii 5 0, ride the wave. Bigfoot now coming down on a second turn. He talks about that methanol jazz fuel. You can smell that as they go by here. Smells like victory for somebody tonight. Look at them go toe to toe. Never thought we'd see this happen. Each of these trucks with 1,200 horsepower, Jerry. And you can feel that energy. Here they come now. Turn three, coming around. Bigfoot, slight lead. You really can't tell them they come around that bend. Who's got the lead? And down a stretch they come. Bigfoot, they're going for that final jump. Scorpion's right out of his tail. Bigfoot, oh, he almost buried the nose. Scorpion, he's lost. Scorpion, he lost it. He's rolling. He's rolling. 10,000 pounds are rolling. Oh, my God, I don't believe it. Well, now, keep in mind that these trucks are designed for safety, and the drivers are belted in securely with all kinds of protective gear. Rarely does anybody get seriously injured, but let's just hope that's the case tonight, that no one's hurt. Yeah, I, I don't care what type of protection, unless he's in a bolt in that thing. That's 10,000 pounds, Rooney, bouncing along the track. Well, the see all the other drivers come out. I mean, there is competition here, but you can see the camaraderie with Dave Harkin coming in. We saw this, I guess, four weeks ago now in Nashville. It was a positive ending then, and we keep our fingers crossed it can be the same thing. You see, Dan Runty almost lost it when he came down, and that same thing happened to Gene. Nose came in very too tight, way too tight. He just rolled this thing. Ah, you know, it's, it's a great sport, but when stuff like this happens, you wonder if it's worth it. You really have to wonder if it's worth it. And, Jerry, we've got behind us right now, the viewers can't see, but an ambulance is out here on the course just in case. You see the concern of the other drivers. There is a cooperative effort among them. They work in each other's trucks from time to time, genuinely feel for each other, and there's the ambulance right there. Wait, there is Gene Patterson. He's okay. He's standing, obviously shaking. Pam Vale, Mr. Harkey outside there. Gene. And now he's waving. Oh, he's okay. He's telling the crowd he's all right. Obviously, the safety of these trucks has been spoken for right here with the man taking a tumble like that and coming up standing and waving to the crowd minutes afterwards. Well, you can imagine the, uh, the attitude of the owners uh, of these trucks when something like this occurs. First, of course, we're concerned about the safety of the driver, but the trucks cost $150,000 each, Jerry. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You, you see exactly what happened there. It came in way, way too low. He just buried the nose of that truck right in there, right into the sand clay I'm talking about. He just tumbles two, three, four times. What a ride. What a ride. Gene Patterson. You see the fiberglass busting off. I mean, that's in the condition of Dan Runty's truck earlier today. So if he had won the race, who knows? Maybe he would have been back. In such a fine line, you can see Runty landed the almost nose down, and he could have lost it as well. Yeah, I don't want to cut you off here, Rooney, but our own John Heffernan is down with Big Daddy, Itty Bitty Daddy, and a seeding Gene Patterson. Half Big Daddy, do you expect foul play in this at all? Yes, I do. I think there's something wrong here, most definitely. There must be some foul play going on here. We're going to get it, Ronty. We're going to get it if it's the last thing we do. This is, this is outrageous. I can't stand this. Okay, Eddie, what are, you, what, are your, what are your feelings on this, Eddie? Yeah, it's definitely foul play, man. This smells stronger than a bag of garlic. 
foul play all over it. Okay, well, you heard it here from the owners of Scorpion, Big Daddy and Itty. And, Gene, one more time, what's your feelings on this? Do you, ex do you uh, expect any foul play here? Um, there's definitely something going on around here, and uh, we're just not happy about it. But uh, we've got another truck out there, and uh, I tell you what, Bigfoot, he might think he's a star, but stars are going to fall tonight. Will there be any, is there any way to assess the damage on the truck and tell if somebody tampered with it? Um, we're not, that's not really a concern right now. Our main concern is to take him out, and we're going for it from here on out. Not only he better watch out the side windows, he better watch behind him all around. Because we will get to the bottom line of this. I'm okay, okay. Well, you heard it here first, guys. The plot thickens. All right. This came off the wall during all that, and uh, we were concerned about Gene Patterson, but... Uh, yeah. Well, it's too bad it didn't pop a little bit farther. Maybe he hit you in the head and knocked some sense into you, Jerry. Well, this is what you get for sitting in the front row. <laughs> Anyways, the plot thickens and stinkens, according to Big Daddy. Is that a word, stinkens? Well, it is now. All right, okay. <laughs> Made up a few along the way tonight. I had one more to the dictionary. Monster trucks. Well, now we really have our semis set. Again, the winners move into the finals, and the winner of the final will capture the title of the Monster Truck of the Millennium. Our semi matchups are Firestone to take on Bigfoot at Dr. Bones versus Monster Patrol. Those two are ready to roll right now. In our first semifinal, Rooney, it's Dr. Bones and driver Rick Petroline set to take on Monster Patrol and its driver, Dave Harkey. Remember, this is the first of our semifinals. A spot in the finals is up for grabs. All right, starter girl on the line now. We're going to get these two trucks rolling. Monster Patrol on the left. Dr. Bones on the right. Still wonder if he's lost there, Rooney. Starter girl, get him going. Here they come. Good, strong jumps for both, both drivers. Dr. Bones a little too high there, Rooney. A little too high coming out. And remember, this is the semis, so they've moved the course back a little bit. You saw those initial jumps that we didn't have before. All right, excellent point. They're not quite as high as the other ones. Dr. Bones with a good lead coming down now. Boom! You see all that truck rising up? The Metro fuel now, you can smell that. Dr. Bones Monster Patrol, semi-final matchup. Here they come now. Back stretch, Rooney. Dr. Bones has an outside lead now. He'll lose that coming into this turn. Down the stretch, they come. Strong leap over the finish line. Dr. Bones, good strong race, Rooney. Yeah, it was, and you wonder if what happened in the last race didn't maybe have some kind of impact on Rick Petroline. Yeah, Doesn't I do himself. Yeah. I'm not going to hit this that hard. I don't want to go over. You can get an idea right here, Jerry, what it's like to be in that cab with it, as you say, bouncing around. Yeah, it's, it's, it's painful. I mean, these are pros. These are pros. They get bounced around quite a bit. Good run by Petroline, though. Dr. Bones, moving on. All right, let's go back down to the pits where Hef has our winner. Hey, thanks, guys. Joining me now, the driver of Dr. Bones, Rick Petroline. Petro, the racing community has had a huge day, and it doesn't seem to be over yet. It's definitely not over. Falling star is coming quick. Uh, I'm the Bones truck. My partner had a slight accident out here. Uh, I think there's a little foul play in it, and I believe the Runty's going down the night with his Bigfoot truck. Also, your owner here with you, Big Daddy and Eddie. We seem to have uh, some other people joining uh, in, in the fray here. Guys, I'm, I'm getting out of the way here. It's getting a little tense. The line has been drawn. Yeah, hey, we're going to get to the bottom of this. We will square off. Listen, why don't you get in your truck and get out of here? Well, we've had well, it. Check this out. Big Daddy wants Ruddy, just like Apollo Creed wanted Rocky. Yeah, well, we know what happened to Creed. Well, he came back for three more movies. So. It's clear he wants Ruddy. Bones wants Ruddy. Itty wants Ruddy. And more than ever, Dusty wants Ruddy. The big thing here, however, is Bigfoot's going to have to get past Firestone if it's going to advance. And the crowd realizes that. Well, Jerry, Bigfoot and Dan Ruddy are set to begin their quest for the finals with Dusty and Blanche looking on. Next up, a huge showdown against Eric Tack and Firestone. This could be quite a battle. Well, let's go down to Starter Girl, which she's got them lined up once again for our semi-final matchup. Bigfoot on the left, Eric Tack on the right, and Firestone. Remember, Firestone, he doesn't care which lane he goes in. A little bit of an advantage for him here. She's got him off and running. As you mentioned earlier, Rooney, another 50 yards in these semifinal runs. Both trucks, a little trouble coming off that first ramp. They went back in that time. They're not going to flip that way, but it does slow you down. Two Fords and two friends going at it. Remember, they are teammates. Toe to toe, head to head, show to show here, baby. We got one, Rooney. We got a show here. Eric Jack and Fire. 
Bears throwing down a good lead. Coming off that ramp very strong. They come over that ramp. Listen, remember that movie Speed when that bus was flying in the air? Reminds me a lot of that, baby. Oh, they're neck and neck here. They come. Final stretch now. And down a stretch that come, Rodney. Bigfoot. Flag waving high over the bump. Oh, again, he came in very high. Really put that nose in. He's got another victory, but he's got a problem with that last bump, Rodney. Well, you can say he's a little lucky here, the way he lands and almost loses it. But remember, the greats in all forms of racing always push it to the max. Well, he's certainly done that tonight, Rooney. I mean, this guy started the night without a ride, and here he is, headed to the finals. In addition to the, the shock, the, the collision, and look at this nose down to the ground. You can imagine the force that's exerted on the driver. Great stuff from our boys in the TV truck there, racing at its best. And that's what we got coming up. The stage is set. Our final, Dr. Bones. Big Daddy's camp once again, taking on Dan Runty, Blanche, and Dusty. It's the accused versus the accuser. We're going to get it on one more time. It's time for the title. Wait a minute, what are these guys up to now? Just when you've seen it all, gremlins abound at Mesa Park. Will the races go on? Anything's possible. Hi, Dan. Ronnie cleared himself by showing up and winning big. His opponent fell hard but got up. Then it was on to the semis and Bigfoot rocked Firestone. Welcome back. We're set for our showdown at Bigfoot versus Dr. Bones for the right to be called Monster Truck of the Millennium. We started our night with eight trucks, well, seven, then we were back to eight. Now we're down to two. That's the main thing here, Rooney. <laughs> An awfully weird night just keeps getting weirder. Well, here we go for the championship of our premier head-to-head -head single elimination competition. The winner will be crowned Monster Truck of the Millennium. I never thought I'd say this, Jerry, but this time it's personal. Time to get it on. Yeah, time to get it on for the finals, Rooney. And there's a good shot showing you where they're going to start from about 50 yards back from the starting point in the quarterfinals. Bigfoot on the left. Dr. Bones on the right. Boom, they're off. Good start by both drivers. Two quick hills right there, only about three and a half feet high. Nothing to really to tackle there. And Runty did not handle that last bump well. He's really kind of coming off those very weak. Dr. Bones with a good lead going in the first turn. Good six feet, I'd say. First car ride, nothing special there either from either driver. And again, Runty fishtail out of that back turn. This is stunning. Dr. Bones way out in front. But remember, we are talking about Dan Runty here. Yeah, he's not even supposed to be here at this point. He had no ride to begin the night. Dr. Bones coming out across another bump. Runty's still got a lot of ground to make up. But he's he... making it up, Jerry. Look at him. He is. He's coming in the he's final. Oh, no. Runty, Dr. Bones, here they come. Into the final jump. Runty's coming back. And it lands like your Runty. Runty. He got him. Oh, I don't believe it. I'm choking on my own excitement, right? Please take over! Well, take over is just what Dan Runny did tonight. I said earlier during this run, this is why he is who he is, one of the greats of monster truck racing. Willis Reed, 1970, his comeback, Joe Montana in the Super Bowl, and now you can add Dan Runny to the list of great comebacks. And I'm not talking about the whole night, I'm talking about this race in particular, because his first two turns were not vintage Runny. He was fishtailing, Dr. Bones had a 50-yard lead on him, and down the backstretch, he took it all back and grabbed the title. Awesome run by Runty. Unbelievable. Awesome, awesome ride. Our crowd is around the gate. Dan Runty. There he is, Dan Runty. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, my friend. Just sitting back here, listening to the crowd pay the respect to run that he truly deserves, and watching pictures that happened just moments ago, as the best finisher in this business did his thing. Truly, a legendary run by Big. You ever get a dream like that when you come home, Rudy? And now the big payoff, huh? Yeah, over to you, Hal. Hollywood and run a strip like this, no one would believe it. I do. I saw it with my own two eyes. An amazing victory for Team Bigfoot. You must be exhausted, happy. What a night. Tell me how you feel. Absolutely. I mean, it was great. We had a lot of work to do. We got it back together. I got a good team. I mean, if it wasn't for them guys, I mean, these guys, we just found some stuff one night or the other morning, and we got it back together, and we won this. There you go. There you go. Dusty? Dan is my monster truck man, and my man never loses. Dan! Crazy. And Blanche, what do you have to say? What do I have to say? You know what I have to say. I always knew he had it. I knew Dan was going to win. He's the best. But Blanche, that's right. 
That's her baby, and that's the darling of monster truck fans everywhere. Dan Lundy, Just Crown Champion, and Bigfoot, Monster Truck of the Millennium. Once again, on top of the monster truck world, the man who owns the sport and has owned it for more than a decade now, Mesa Park, just the latest chapter in his legend we know as Bigfoot. Oh, no. Monster Truck 2000 contains music from albums entitled Dysfunction.